Hi, I'm Wendy with H2O Bungalow. We love our tankless electric water heaters. So over the past year, we have changed out our home with an electric water heater that is on demand and tankless, getting rid of the old tanked water heater. And in our Northeastern vacation rental property, we've also replaced our propane tank water heaters and just put in two new electric on-demand tankless water heaters by EcoSmart. So today I'm going to share with you why we made the switch to a tankless water heater in two locations. I'll share with you the steps we needed to take to make that work and I've videoed our latest install so you'll get to see what it looks like when you're swapping out a, a traditional tanked water heater for an electric tankless on-demand water heater by EcoSmart. So we made the switch to on-demand water heaters or tankless for a few reasons. We learned we'd have issues meeting safety and current building codes when we updated our heating since the propane water heaters were vented with the heat system. You can see my post for more details since this is a pretty common issue in older homes. We were also pretty tired of paying for the water to be heated even when nobody was there. And last, tankless water heaters are cleaner and a lot more energy efficient. We decided to tackle this now instead of dealing with an emergency when choices would be limited and we'd potentially make a bad decision under pressure. Since we've been very happy with the EcoSmart electric tankless water heater we installed in our home last year, we decided to switch to electric tankless water heaters in Vermont also. These are the steps I took to change out our propane tank water heater to an EcoSmart all-electric water heater. We determined what size water heater was needed based on the hot water needs of our home, how many people, showers, and faucets would run at the same time. Next, I had an electrician and a plumber do a site survey and give me a quote to do the install and upgrades that were necessary. I ordered the units and they were shipped to me directly. Last, I scheduled the installation with my plumber and the electrician. On install day, the plumbers hooked up the hot water tanks to a hose and started draining the tanks to the outside as soon as they arrived. Because water sits in the tanks, the bottom of the water heaters collect a lot of sediment. This was what the water heater looked like when we changed to the electric tankless last year at our own home. Think about this sediment going through your pipes, into your drinking water, and your clothes washer. Next, one of the plumbers finished disconnecting the old water heaters. In the meantime, another installed a wood backboard to mount the new tankless water heater and began the process of connecting where the cold water flows in and the hot water flows out. Meanwhile, the electrician ran new electrical lines to power the tankless unit. That's pretty much all there was to the install. The entire process only took a few hours and that's with installing two tankless water heaters. Before we turned on the water heater, I opened all of the taps in the house to run water and flush out the air bubbles. Turning on the unit and adjusting the water temperature is easy. Just push the knob in and turn to the temperature desired. That's it. The installation is complete. I'm thrilled I won't have any more repair bills on my old propane tank water heaters, no more relighting the pilot lights that were always going out, and now I'm not paying to heat water when no one is there. To learn more about tankless options in electric or gas and the solutions available, go to ecosmartus.com or click the link at the top of the screen. You'll find more information and the links to the EcoSmart website in my blog post at h2obungalow.com, search tankless. There's a link to my post in this video description too. If you like my project, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my blog when you're there too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon on the next creative DIY project from H2O Bungalow.